Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 272. That is, what is branch coverage? Let me answer. So what is branch coverage? Before understanding branch coverage, which is one of the technique of the code coverage. Okay, let's first understand what is code coverage. Later I'll explain what is branch coverage. As part of code coverage, we measure the amount of the source code of the software that is tested. Okay, how much amount of the program code of program or code of the software is tested, is measured as part of the code coverage. Okay, it falls into the white box testing because it is related to code. Okay, and uh, since we are measuring the amount of the source code or program code that of the software that is tested, we can easily find out the gaps case, like uh, how much amount of the code is not tested is also we can find it out, okay? If we, if we measure how much is tested, we can simply find out how much of the code is not tested as part of execution or whatever it is, okay? So, so when we find these gaps, right? whenever we measure something, we find the gaps, right? So with the gaps, we have to fill the gaps. In order to fill the gaps, we have to increase our coverage. We have to increase our tests. Okay, we have to increase our tests so that more code will be tested. That's what is the aim. So how to do that? How to increase the amount of tests so that this code coverage will be increased? Okay, so for that, there are some techniques I'll tell you. Okay, so this falls into, this code coverage falls into the structure-based test design, guys. Okay, it's a structure. There are techniques like, in order to increase the code coverage and all, there are some techniques like, structure based test design techniques okay in order to increase by creating more tests and increasing the code coverage there are some techniques like structure based test design techniques okay what are the structure based test design techniques what are the different ways methods and techniques that we can use for increase by increasing the test and increasing the code coverage they are nothing but statement coverage which i covered in the previous session next one is branch coverage which i am going to cover now the question is all about what is branch coverage that i am going to cover now so path coverage, condition coverage. Okay, coming to the branch coverage, guys. There is a simple formula for branch coverage. So branch coverage is equal to number of executed branches divided by number of total number of branches. Okay, number of executed branches, whatever the number of branches that got executed by total number of branches. What are these branches? Into 100, guys. Okay, into 100. So I, I'll, I'll explain this formula with an example anyhow. So here we have a code, guys. Let me show you this code. This is not one. Let me close this. I'll open the proper one. Okay, as you can see this code guys, okay. So here we have some conditions here. This condition may either result in true or false. If there is true, it will go to one branch. If it is false, it will go to another branch. True branch, false branch. Similarly, there is one more condition in LC block. Here also, because of this condition, this condition may result in true or false, okay. This condition may result in true or false. In case of true, it will go to one branch. In case of false, will go to another branch so total since there are two conditions here condition one and condition two each and every condition has two branches that is true branch and false branch here also this condition also has true branch and false branch so total how many branches total number of branches is equal to total number of branches is equal to four divided by four but how many branches got executed that depends on the number of tests for example one of the tests will take where we'll pass four five as a values okay if you if you if you call this method with four five so how many branches will be covered let's see Okay, four will go into A when you call this method. This is this code is written in Java, guys. Four will go into A and uh, five will go into B. Okay, and five plus four is equal to that is four plus five is equal to nine. Nine is greater than zero. Okay, this is true. True branch is covered. Okay, there are two branches here. One branch is true branch and other branch is false branch. In this true branch and false branch, which branch got covered when uh, the output is nine? 4 plus 5 is 9, result is 9 is 9 is greater than 0. True branch got covered. Okay. This is covered now. Okay. One of the branches covered. So this statement will be executed and uh, LC will not be executed and else block will not be executed. That's it. That's it, guys. Only true branch of this condition has been executed. Only one. How much percentage? Now, if you only test with only these four or five values, how much percentage, guys? Total number of branches is equal to four. How many branches covered? Only one branch got covered, true branch of one condition. That is one by four into 100. That is 
only 25% branch coverage is covered with this particular test. In order to increase the code coverage, what we have to do? In order to increase the code coverage, what we have to do? We have to, we have to change the values. We have to give another test here. Say minus four, minus five this time. Okay, I'll give minus four, minus five this time. What will happen? Let's see. Minus four will go into A, minus five will go into B. Minus four plus minus five is equal to minus nine. Minus nine greater than zero is equal to false. This false branch is covered. This false branch is covered, guys. Okay. This false branch is covered. Since this false branch is covered, the this uh, will not go inside the block. We'll go to the else if condition. And here, result less than zero. Here also two branches will be there. One branch will be true branch, and other branch will be false branch. False branch. So here. Minus nine, right? The result is minus four plus minus five is minus nine. Minus nine less than zero is true. So true branch is covered here. True branch is covered here. Okay. So false branch in the first condition is covered with this minus nine, and a true branch in the second condition is also covered. Okay. Then, then this this block will be executed. Remaining everything will be skipped. So how many branches got covered now? True branch, false branch. And here, true branch. Three branches got covered. Total, how many branches here? Total, four branches. Out of that, three branches. Three divided by four into hundred. Okay, what is the formula? Total branches are four. Three divided by four into hundred. That is seventy-five percent branch coverage is done. Next, next is what? This time, I'll give both the values as zero, zero and zero. Okay, zero plus zero is result is zero. Zero greater than zero is false. Already false branch is covered, so no problem. Here zero less than zero is also false. Okay, so now this false branch is covered now. Okay, with the when you are passing zeros here, third test, this false branch is covered. Now this block will be skipped and else block will be executed. So all the branches got covered. Now all the four branches got covered with three tests. So four divided by four into hundred is hundred percent. Okay, now we got the branch coverage as hundred percent. So hope guys. You understood what is branch coverage in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I am going to cover another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.